Well, you know, I, I have to say, I really, I hate the fire in a crowded theater analogy. That goes back to a case that's no longer a good law in which the Supreme Court punished someone for handing out anti-draft literature. Um, so yes, there are legal limits um, if something, some speech poses an imminent threat. Uh, but again, most of what we see on social media, even the sort of hateful stuff, um, isn't imminently dangerous to anyone. You agree with that, Fabrice Pelletier? Not really. I, th I think we're missing a point. Uh, Elon Musk is taking Twitter away from Wall Street, which means he can lose. He can lose money. There's no problem. He has enough money. Twitter can lose money for decades, and uh, Elon Musk can can provide money for that. But he can also take Twitter off those algorithms that are designed to increase revenue, and those specific algorithms are those generating hate and hate speech and stuff like this and disinformation. So once Twitter is not anymore into the attention economy, many things can go much better on Twitter. And that's the point of taking Twitter off Wall Street. He doesn't need to make profit in order to satisfy Wall Street. He doesn't care anymore about Wall Street. He can lose money for years and decades before transforming Twitter into something else and something that could be profitable. And there are many possibilities in terms of technology, in terms of governance, in terms of decentralization of the governance, especially the governance when it comes to censorship. Many things are possible. And Twitter, without Wall Street, is going to have uh, many options that Facebook cannot take. So it really could be very interesting.